this. You said you saw the future. Did you see anything past 2023? Yes. Yes and yes. Anything you can tell us? Yes. So, um, yeah, this is going to, this is a fun one. Um, there's going to be some major hardships coming, but they're going to build us to be better as a society, as a whole. And, and there's going to be great miracles happening in the very, very near future where all logic will have to go out the window for you to even believe the miracles you're watching with your own eyes. Really? So we're going to be battling this logic and this ego within us where, where we'll be watching something and everything within us is saying, everything, everything outside of us is saying that can't be real. But everything inside our hearts is saying that is real. And so we'll have this battle of, of ego and, and heart where your heart says what you just saw was real, but what was actually happening, your, your ego is saying can't be real. There's going to be a real reckoning with this. And, and part of it is going to involve the news. The news is going to portray certain events with the earth as very, very scary. And it's going to put a lot of the earth in a fearful state. But those who know, know that the light that is coming from this is amazing and absolutely perfection so that we won't be afraid of these things that are happening. We'll embrace and, and lovingly embrace these things that are happening. And as it does happen, a lot of those who are embracing that these events will be getting instant upgrades in their biochemistry. Um, so much so that we don't need our cell phones near as much. We don't need, we're not going to rely on cell phone technology or modern technology near as much. We're going to essentially step away a little bit from technology, those who, who go that path. And those who don't go that path, they stay um, veiled in the paradigm of fear. They will need technology even more. In fact, they will start crossing the border of putting technology in the body. And, and, and that's when we're going to watch society split. There will be those who embrace the technology inside the body and those who are the, who will not do that for any reason they will not do that and we'll see society split a bit there and is that in the next 10 years the next 50 years 100 years uh next next 10 years yeah. really yeah it's interesting because I have heard so many people that have had near-death experiences say we're going to go for through a very challenging time mm -hmm. but it's going to be worth it but yep. then it gets good. They all say it's going to be good. Yep. It's, it's all worth it. Like we, when, and that's the one thing I see, I see years of struggle, but I see on the outside of that, that the, the growth we get out of the struggle is so amazing. It's so beautiful. So we don't need to fear the hardship or the struggle. We need to just make sure that we get our core corrected so that God leads us through the struggle, not the news, not our apps, but God, God can lead us right through the struggle. And then it's not as much of a struggle. It's actually a lot easier. Yeah. Will there be things that people can look to to try to go in the right direction when this happens? Um, the weirdest thing is the place they're going to get the most direction is inside. Mm. There will be people that go to bed one night and wake up and say, oh, I'm moving, I'm moving to the Appalachian Mountains. And you're like, where? They're like, I don't know, but somewhere there. They, they will just have a knowing that they are going to move their physical self to this other location. Some of them will bring families, some of them won't. And these are going to be multiple locations all over the world. And after people start moving to these locations, we'll actually see little cities being built up in these groups. And, and we'll see other people going to the major cities really in that paradigm of fear. And we're going to see very strong fear behavior and fear behavior includes guns and violence and lots of that kind of stuff happening in those cities. So, so that's part of the scary stuff that's going to happen. But like I said, on the back end of it, we get such a separation between ego and spirit in society. And those go, who go the ego route, they're going to do everything that their phone tells them to do, everything that the news tells them to do, everything that governments tell them to do, they are going to do. But everybody who has that inner connection. They're going to follow whatever direction makes sense to them as long as it synchronizes with the inner connection. 
If it doesn't synchronize, they're going to be like, nope, I'm holding off on making a decision until I get an answer inside me, inside my heart. Yeah. You said things get better, but do they get better for both groups? No. Does the one group lift? No. Only one group gets better. Hmm. The ego side, they essentially just slowly eradicate themselves off the face of the earth. And then what happens to them? They die. They die here, but then... They, they, they just die and they get to cleanse themselves, go to heaven, and then figure out a path from there. Yeah, they have... Okay. And, and who knows, you know, and, and a lot of them, that may be their divine purpose is to be here, to be in those waves that kind of finish off in the ego space or the fear space. Um, but I think that a lot of them, it's to, you know, because there is that... that that apartheid or separation between between higher and lower selves that it has to happen and that that the earth is doing it on its own the earth is on this trajectory where it is upgrading its energy the entire planet is in fact the entire solar system is people think that the earth is experiencing climate change well do the do the math on this the entire solar system is experiencing climate change hmm. like literally the entire solar system that means the changes that are coming are coming for the entire solar system not just for earth and so as those systems and and events are happening it is going to be affect the affecting the whole solar system not just earth so there's 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 a lot more to these stories than what we're ever told there's so much more to our own history to our our own story of humanity on earth that that we're not allowed to know and this is not God not allowing us. We're not allowing ourselves to know. But we can know those truths when we look within. We can know all those truths when we look within.